All right. Welcome to Rockstar. Now, just so you all know, we're going to cover this topic as fast and as completely as we can. Just the way you like it. Thanks for watching. Chapter 1. Drugs, Alcohol, and Teens It's Friday night. The school week is over and you're looking forward to hanging out with some friends. One of your friends knows about a party in his neighborhood, and rumor has it there won't be any adults around. Your friend's older brother is driving, so you can all head your ride with him. Everybody decides it sounds like a lot of fun. When you get to the party, there's already a bunch of people from your school there. Some are dancing, others are checking out YouTube videos. Downstairs, there's a pool table and some cool arcade games. You head down there with your buddies to check out the scene. There's a lot of laughter and commotion. It feels like good times. But you notice that some of the people at the party are acting a little out of control. They're drinking out of plastic cups, and by the way they're stumbling around, you think it's gotta be some kind of alcohol. One particularly wobbly kid goes into the backyard and throws up. Over in the corner, there's a girl passed out on the beanbag chair. Somebody drops his drink on the floor and starts laughing uncontrollably. People don't seem to notice. Your friend hands you a cup with a nasty-smelling brown liquid in it. Drink up, he says. Everybody's having some. Are you going to have some? You go outside and join up with some other friends. One of them has a funny-looking hand-rolled cigarette. People are smoking it, filling the air with a pungent smell. They cough a lot and their eyes turn red. They start laughing, even though nothing funny is happening. Somebody tries to hand the cigarette to you. Everybody's doing it, she says. Are you going to try it? You go back inside and find some other friends eating pizza and watching music videos. You notice your friend's older brother, the one who drove you there, holding one of those plastic cups. He seems kind of out of it, and when you talk to him, his speech seems slurred. Hey, I just heard about this other party I want to go to. I'll give you a ride home first. It's really just for older kids. He can't find his keys and has another drink. Then you and your buddies follow him out to his car. He's walking unsteadily, and he has trouble unlocking the car. Everybody in, he yells, although you're standing right next to him. Are you going to get in that car? The fact is, more and more teens are finding themselves in situations like this. Consider these recent news stories. In California, 14-year-old died at her own slumber party after drinking vodka with her friends. Although her parents were home, they had no idea the girls had alcohol in their room. In Oregon, 14-year-old M went to a party where alcohol and marijuana were available. No adults were there. Em had a lot of drinks, and then tried inhaling some helium from a pressurized tank at the urging of friends. A gas bubble formed in her bloodstream, and she was killed. In Michigan, a mother gave her teenage son a bottle of vodka to take to a party. A girl at the party drank so much that she ended up in the hospital on life support. The mother was jailed and arrested. In Canada, 17-year-old C went to a party where the parents supplied alcohol to teens. He drank rum, vodka, and beer, and then passed out after. His friends took turns writing on his face with a magic marker. In the morning, he was found dead from choking on his own vomit. You may know some people who have tried alcohol, smoked pot, or who smoke cigarettes. You may feel pressure from friends to try them, or you may feel like you're not going along with the crowd if you don't try them too. Maybe your parents sometimes have cocktails or wine. You've seen beer ads while watching football. You see people out in the world smoking cigarettes, even though you've heard how harmful smoking is. So it's entirely natural to be curious. The choices you make about alcohol, tobacco, and other drugs can have a profound effect on your future. Even though that may sound hard, remember, you're not alone. Everyone faces this issue at some point. Believe it or not, every adult that you know used to be a kid once, too. That's why adults freak out about this issue. They've been there. And what they want more than anything is for you to be safe and make healthy choices so that you can grow up and make your life into what you want it to be. We're going to present some facts to you about drugs you may encounter as you move towards adulthood. When we talk about drugs, we're talking about substances that change the way your brain or your body function. These substances mimic naturally occurring chemicals in your body and trick the brain to feel good. And we don't just mean pills or illegal drugs like marijuana. In fact, the two most popular drugs by far, alcohol and nicotine, are perfectly legal, at least for adults. And eventually, they'll be legal for you to use too, once you become an adult. Alcohol, the most widely used drug in America, is found in beer, wine, and liquor. Once you turn 21, it's legal to buy and use. But many adults have a hard time using alcohol responsibly. Stories about drunk driving accidents are frequently on the news. 
In a single year, more than 10,000 people die in traffic accidents involving alcohol. Regular or excessive use of alcohol can lead to addictive behavior known as alcoholism, which can literally ruin a person's life, causing physical and mental issues, job loss, divorce, to name just a few of the potential consequences. Cigarettes and tobacco products, also legal for adult use, contain a powerful drug called nicotine. Nicotine is a highly addictive substance that trains your brain to want more of it. Once you start smoking, it can be very hard to stop. And the longer you smoke, the more likely that you'll become addicted. Studies show that most adult smokers tried cigarettes during their teen years first, and there's a direct relationship between teen smoking and adult addiction. Marijuana is the most commonly used illegal drug in the United States. There's a lot of different names for this drug, including pot, herb, grass, weed, dope, and ganja. The main active chemical ingredient in marijuana is called THC. Like other drugs, THC goes directly into the brain from your bloodstream and creates a chemical reaction with nerve cells, affecting memory, concentration, sensory and time perception, and coordination, just to name a few. These effects can make driving and other activities dangerous while under the influence of this drug. Teens sometimes use another class of drugs called inhalants because they're easy to find. What are they? Believe it or not, they're chemical vapors from things like paints, glues, gasoline, cleaning fluids, even magic markers that people intentionally inhale. These substances were never meant for human consumption, and they can cause serious brain damage, heart damage, liver failure, and muscle weakness. The effects can stay with you for the rest of your life, and they can affect your ability to think, learn, or even walk and talk properly. So what makes these drugs so dangerous for teens? The answer lies in the adolescent brain itself. People used to think that a teenager's brain was just like an adult's, just with less mileage on it. But recent studies have shed new light on that assumption. In fact, the human brain continues to develop in important ways at least into a person's 20s. These studies suggest that a teenager's brain might be particularly vulnerable to the negative effects of drugs. Brain connections and signaling mechanisms are changing during this time, and introducing drugs into the mix can have long-term effects, like a higher chance of addiction than people who don't use drugs before 21. As you grow into an adult, you'll need all the brain power you can get to help you make the life you want to live. We'll explore this new understanding of your brain, as well as how drugs can affect its development in the upcoming chapters. We'll also look at a history of tobacco and why people still smoke cigarettes. Then we'll examine how TV commercials encourage people to drink alcohol. Finally, we'll look at a few other substances that teens sometimes abuse, including prescription drugs, inhalants, and marijuana. We hope the facts presented here will help you make safe, healthy choices as you transition into adults. Well, all right. We hope you enjoyed that. You just did it. The first chapter of the topic. Now, just so you know, there are four more chapters to go in this app, and it will only take you about 45 more bits to complete, and you are totally done. Now, check this out. The app also comes with about 15 pages of analysis and summary that you can download and use any way you need to. Here's what you got to do. You got to click the link below and go directly to the Apple App Store and download.